Renewable energy in Pakistan is a relatively underdeveloped sector, however, in recent years, there has been some interest by environmentalist groups and from the authorities to explore renewable energy resources for energy production in light of the energy crises and power shortages affecting the country. Most of Pakistan's renewable energy comes from hydroelectricity. Solar power There have been some efforts to install and expand the use of solar energy in Pakistan. The average amount of daily sunlight in Pakistan is eight and a half hours, there are a few cloudy days even in the wettest regions. Eight power generation plants have been installed and eleven are in various stages of completion. Further feasibility studies are undergoing. In December 1981, the first solar photovoltaic system was commissioned, located in Mumniala, a village 60 kilometers from Islamabad. Four solar systems has been commissioned in Kukura, Lasbela district, Gakar, Atak district, Malmari, Thatta district. Now that system is unserviceable, and Didal Khan Lagari, Digri, Murpurkas district. The Punjab government announced the establishment of Quaid e Azam Solar Park over an area of 5,000 acres in the Khalistan Development Authority in Bahawalpur. A practical example of the use of solar energy can be seen in some rural villages of Pakistan where houses have been provided with solar panels that run electric fans and energy-saving bulbs. One notable and successfully implemented case was the village of Narayan Korean about 50 km from Islamabad, which employs the use of 100 solar panels installed by a local firm, free of cost. These panels have provide energy through lights and fan facilities to some 100 households. The Alternative Energy Development Board installed 200 solar home systems at District Kuzdar Baluchistan in a remote off-grid village Karak. Government of Baluchistan launched a program to electrify off-grid villages of various districts through solar technology. <laughs> Wind power. Pakistan is developing wind power plants in Jimpir, Garo, Keti Bundar and Bin Qasim in Sindh. The government of Pakistan decided to develop wind power energy sources due to problems supplying energy to the southern coastal regions of Sindh and Baluchistan. The project was undertaken with assistance from the government of China. Another area with potential is SWAT which shows good wind conditions in wind power investment. The Chagai district in Baluchistan has good potential for wind power in the Nukundi area near the Afghan-Iran border, with wind speeds often 12.5% higher than average required for energy generation. Some examples are Jimpir Wind Power Plant operational Garo Wind Power Plant operational Bin Qasim Wind Power Project under construction Topic Tidal Power Tidal power has not yet been operational in Pakistan compared to other renewable energy technologies but in near future it may play a key role some think that tidal power plants in coastal creeks of Pakistan can serve the energy crisis conundrum up to some level. The coastline of Pakistan, which is about 1,045 km long with dominant features, is the best resource for harnessing tidal energy. In Sindh, two sites, creek system of Indus Delta of 170 km and 2 to 5 m tidal heights at the Korangi Creek, are available to exploit the tidal energy. Sanmiani Beach and Kalamat are also good prospects of tidal energy in Baluchistan. 
Government has issued license to private companies to take measures to build tidal power stations in February 2013. Since then, the engineering work is under process, and initially a 10 MW plant is proposed at Sanmiani Bay. Construction was expected to start by the end of 2013. <laughs> 